going to talk about a graphic novel I recently read called Bad Moon Rising. This is a book by uh, 451 Burn, uh, which is a publisher I'm not very familiar with, to be honest. It's by Scott Rosenberg. It follows a group of werewolf bikers and their altercations with a town. Uh, now, we're going to have a flip through the book and have a look at it in order to see what the story is. And then we'll have a look at pricing and availability afterwards, so stick around for that. Uh, what I would say though before we get into the flip through is this is a book I picked up at a comic convention um, it was a local one to where I am in Cheltenham the comic convention was and it was something I wouldn't have otherwise bought I love werewolves, I love werewolf films, love werewolf comic books but I had no idea of this and I wouldn't have been searching particularly under this publisher for it whether it be on Comixology or you know in, a, in an actual paper format so it goes to show, go to the shows have a flip through people's stands and see what there is to have because you might surprise yourself. There might be a serendipitous uh, book that you stumble across and, and really enjoy like I did with this one. And please feel free to give us a thumbs up if, uh, if you enjoyed the video or you got something from it. Okay, so this book is um, trade paperback, standard size, format, etc. It's got nice quality paper actually, something worth mentioning. Now you start off straight away in the Mekong Delta where you are introduced to some werewolf actions right from the off and then you suddenly cut to a biker convention where you're introduced to a group of bikers and then you are taken with them to Talbert. Um, Talbert is the same name as the family in the Wolfman by them. Gory scenes of kills, etc. You see, see that the biker gang and the werewolves are linked, and you don't really want to mess with them. At the same time, you've got a guy returning to the town that gets mixed up in things, uh, including mixed up with one of the biker girls, and only serves to aggravate the situation, let's say. What you've really got with this story is bikers versus the town, and it ain't gonna end well. <laughs> it, it really does read and play like a B movie, but a good B movie. As I'm reading this, you you just feel that it's gonna get better uh, if it goes along, and it does. Uh, it's enjoyable. It's got some good kills in it. It's got a fun, fast plot. It's written by the same bloke that wrote um, Cowboys and Aliens. Funnily enough. Um, just in case uh, you've ever heard of that or seen the film. So, you know, he's got previous and you can tell whether or not he was trying to prime this up for BS. Test run for a potential film pitch, I don't know. But either way, I really enjoyed this book. I'm so glad that I just picked it up on the um, off chance. And yeah, I, I think it's worth getting if you see it anywhere particularly it might be in the second hand bin if you're at a convention or something or in a comic book shop okay so that was the book it's a good fun werewolf story i think it's something that could be made for a film i would really enjoy seeing it as a film plenty of gore plenty of um entertaining scenes in it and it moves through at a nice pace uh, Price wise, I shall throw up on the screen now what it's going for if you can find it. Because um, I know there's some difficulty trying to get hold of a copy. Um, I was just lucky that this was on a stand and I picked it up, uh, well, before the pandemic, so it probably made things a bit easier as well. Uh, but it's certainly worth getting if you are a fan of this type of story or this type of book uh, and you can get it for a reasonable price. Obviously, I wouldn't pay through the, through the nose for it because it's not that good. But, <laughs> but you know, sub, sub 10 quid. I think it'd be fine. Um, let me know what you think about it. Is this one you've read? Did you not have this on your radar? And please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.